How's it? Welcome back. We're on episode 8 of our survival let's play. And I realize we haven't had much uh, to do with bees yet. But I heard a rumor recently that if you plant a, a tree, a, either an oak or a birch tree, within two blocks of a flower, you have a 5% chance that it will spawn with a, um, with a bee's nest. So I'm going to give that a go and see if we can get any. Oh my goodness, <laughs> the first one. <laughs> wow, I really didn't expect that. All right, let's uh, try these other ones, shall we? Oh my goodness, what? 5%, more like 100% so far. Okay, there's no way this one's going to be a B as well, right? <laughs> okay, well that's cool too. Wow. Hey, let's breed them. Let's grab that. All right. Hey, nice one. Cool, there's lots to do with them. We're going to get some honey blocks and, oh, well, that's to come in the future. So there's something else new I want to show you. I've installed that switch uh, for the villager breeder. Let's go and have a quick look. Actually, we can fly up there. Look. Yep. Okay, see this thing over here? It's got some sticky pistons underneath. Uh, you can, can see them from here. And at the touch of a button down there, it triggers a, um, well, let's just go and have a look, shall we? It triggers a water column over here, um, turning it into a bubble column, which the observer up there notices, and it switches the breeder on and off. So when we want them to breed, actually we do. Let's see how many we've got left. Hey, dudes. Oh, on the way um, there, let's have a look in here quickly. We've got some melons and pumpkins growing. I'll show you that downstairs in just a sec. And that means that we want to uh, put it there so we can trade with these guys, but they're quite expensive because they haven't gone through the education system. So what I'm going to do is take Madam and Steve out of here. I've built them a new little house in the village, and um, we'll go and see that in just a second. But I'm going to get them out of here, put the rest of them through the machine, and once they're um, giving us one pumpkin or, or one a melon for uh, emeralds we'll start trading okay so let's go and see how many we've got left and see if we need to switch it on oh okay it's only four so let's get it on or let them get it on <laughs> okay, and we'll leave them to it. So um, at the back here, you'll see this column up here, and that's uh, delivering melons and pumpkins that are growing in there. So look, and getting spat out into this water stream up that bubble column, uh, ready for us to trade. It's just like a passive farm, you know. It's for some extra emeralds. And I've cleaned up the back of this um, this machine here. It looks a little bit more natural. I didn't like the obsidian at all. So I moved it to the bottom. And just, you know, made it look a little nicer. So let's go and see uh, Madam and Steve's new house. And we'll move them in uh, very shortly. We've got a nice building project to do today. But anyway, here's the house. Very modern, isn't it? Okay, we'll start with the outside. Uh, you'll notice I've covered up this hole that went down into the caves there. I don't quite have a use for it just yet, but we'll, I'll think of something. So here's the outside. I, I tried building a custom tree, and I'm really happy with that. That looks all right. An outside table to have picnics on, a couple of um, sun lounges, and of course, a place to have a braai. And if you don't know what a braai is, go and ask your nearest South African. Maybe I'll put an umbrella there or parasol or something. Haven't quite decided. So let's go have a look inside. We'll start with this bit. So no interior decorating has been done, but um, it's a bit of a den. I don't know what you'd put here. Maybe a couch over there, so, um, a desk, maybe a reading area over here. 
but this is going to be Steve's man cave. So we'll give him a little hobby to do over here. And Madam will live upstairs over here. Well, Madam and Steve, this is their bedroom. And we'll make a nice little office for Madam over here. She can do uh, whatever work she wants to inside. See, now I've got all these bricks and these um, quartz blocks from the new mason in town, but he's, he doesn't like to go to work much. I think he's got a, a place that's quite far away. Anyway, so over here, here's a little roof, roof terrace garden where Steve is collecting bonsai trees. Maybe another parasol over here, or a little, some sort of colorful covering might be good. And this is the living room, and goes out onto the terrace out here, where we were earlier. Cool. So we'll move them in at some point, but now what we've got to do is build a creeper farm. Right, so this is how it is, and how I build a farm usually is I start with the chest. So I'm in the village talking to my dudes, and I want to come down here and get some gunpowder, and I want some paper, well, sugar cane, and then make paper and gunpowder, mix them together, make some rockets. So I built that first, and then let's just hop in and see how the rest of it works. Okay, so you will plunk the cat in there. The creeper will spawn here, and only a creeper, because it's got these trapdoors up here. And then they run away from the cats. They will drop um, gunpowder, which will simulate with that bone meal. Then, uh, if it's switched on, this minecart will go and fetch it. And drop it into this hopper system. And it'll eventually find its way through here, and we'll just wait here and see what happens. Where is it? There it comes. There we go. So there's a piston underneath here that gets pushed up when this comparator turns on, starting this clock with a slight delay. Otherwise, this thing goes up and down, up and down. So we just leave it with one tick over there. Well, it's uh, two ticks, isn't it? Yeah. And that's how that works. And of course, you can you can switch it off over here. So when it's got nothing to drop off, it just goes off. I'll quickly show you how that works. So there's a comparator over here. Where is it? There. <laughs> comparator over there, which powers this block when something's in there. Okay, which turns on, which turns off this torch, which depowers this, and switches that off, making the minecart stay. But I just want to show you something um, quickly. Let's put some items in here quickly. Some dirt, and I'll replace this with a normal rail. I really love having shulker boxes, man, this makes life so much easier. So we'll pretend it's picked up a whole lot of stuff. It might drop one or two things off here on the way, but we won't worry about that. Okay, let's just do the circuit quickly. Pick up the bone meal we dropped off. Okay, now this is without the detector rail there, okay? See that signal, although it stops it, it stops it for such a brief period that it just keeps going. So if you replace this with a, which one is it, this one? Let me try and do it quickly before it comes around again. Okay, and this time it stays. Right until it's finished unloading everything. Okay, and how I got it to do that was just adding this little circuit over here. So the detector rail switches it on, and it's got just the right amount of delay to lock this hopper, so that when the f when it drops off its first item, um, it stays in there, extending that signal slightly. 
And that's all it needed, was just a little bun. Okay, and then obviously the items get spat out into this uh, water stream down here, which uh, when I finish covering this all up and putting trapdoors and making it look all nice, um, I'll break the ice and everything will get delivered into those chests. Okay. So that's how that's going to work. So let me just build the rest. And I just wanted to say one other thing. Um, Digging this out of the, the mountain here took a really long time because I don't have any um, beacons yet. So we're going to have to go to the nether at some point and sort that out. But uh, yeah, let me just finish building this up and we'll see it in action. Right, of course, uh, everybody knows the first thing you need to make a creeper farm is a fishing rod, <laughs> bizarrely enough. And uh, we've got to breed these guys and get them to work, right? Okay, so I'll be a little while, just going to go do some fishing. Well, I've enchanted my fishing rod and tried a few different spots, but this is still taking forever. I've got uh, looting three on my sword, so uh, I've got a better idea. Nice aerial view of the village so far. It's looking good, eh? Okay, let's see how many fish uh, we have and how many cats we can get out of it. So, 16 cod and 3 salmon. Alright. Alright, guys, your time to shine. Okay, now you guys stay there. This uh, is not a litter tray, so behave yourselves. But uh, yeah, you know what to do, eh? Uh, I think I need to let at least one of you not have to sit. There you go. <laughs> oh. You guys wait here though, okay? This might take a while. Okay, I've just popped back here to see if these are... Yep. <laughs> That's more than four. Let's just go have a quick look. Okay, so no babies. Oh. Definitely repopulating. Uh, that'll be enough for now, I reckon. We can uh, turn the machine off now. Pop. There you go. Easy as that. So here we are on top of the spruce tree. And that's what I love about having Elytra, man. You can just get around so easily. And you get these views. The place is starting to come on, don't you think? Anyway, there's the creeper farm all done. I know it looks like a big old block of stone. Well, that's what it is. But don't worry, we'll decorate and make it look nice, of course. Let's just have a quick listen and see how it's working. That sounds like success to me. Let's have a look. Yeah, man, <laughs> everything's working well. We have ourselves a creeper farm. Every now and then there, there are some spiders but uh, I've been, something I didn't mention while I was building it um, was that, see these carpets over here, you have to put them so that there's, Whoa! Oh, I feel like such a, hey, okay, I'll go fix this quick, <laughs> back in a sec. Okay, that ought to do it, uh, I've put everything back how it was, um, but this is what it looks like from the inside, it's pretty cool. So there are five layers in all. 
Okay, while we let that go, there's some other news I want to um, to tell you about. I died again. It wasn't my fault. Uh, a certain someone who we shall not name. Actually, I'm totally going to name him. Where are you, buddy? And that's how you spell it. <laughs> there's a story behind there, but it's not mine to tell you. Anyway, somebody, uh, while I was AFK over here, left the door open, over there, and a little baby zombie floated down on a chicken, like that. And killed me. Oh, far too noisy, let's get out of here. So that's why we have uh, five diamond blocks now. Oh well, I hope that's the last one I have to put there. So, well, we've got a lot of digging to do. I think somewhere tucked in just to the side there. I think I'm eventually going to get rid of a lot of this mountain over here. Maybe build a castle or something at the top there. Not, not entirely sure. But like I said earlier, don't worry that this is all plain. Uh, it's going to look pretty cool when I'm done with it, I promise. Okay, let's get digging. And just like that, it's all dug out, all excavated. It just occurred to me, hey, we haven't had a dad joke in a while. Hey, what do you call a man with a spade on his head? Doug. Uh, I don't know if it's too early in the morning for that. He has one last one. What do you call a man without a spade on his head? Douglas. So yeah, we've got this little modular design for a paper farm here. Um, I don't expect it to be that efficient uh, in that it's going to, you'll see, see sometimes things fall on the edge there. Hmm, I'm wondering if I should do something a bit more efficient or just plug a whole lot of these in. Because you'd have to get a minecart traveling underneath that sand there somehow. Well, I'll look into it, but what I want to do first is just to build a few more of these. Um, maybe two rows of them, because we've got all the space to fill. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And yeah, this water stream obviously is going to pull everything up there, into the hoppers, whoop, and down into our chest. See? It's all working beautifully. There we go, I've added another five more modules to it. All uh, chucking sugarcane down there. Looks pretty cool. I think we can add more, we might need to, depends on how uh, how much this produces. Let's have a quick look. Uh, it's getting on, but uh, yeah, I don't think it's gonna really match the pace of the gunpowder. But like I said, we can uh, just keep adding more and more modules to that. But the last thing I want to do before I clear this mess up is to see if I can end the episode by creating a honey block. Okay, so I think I know what I'm doing. We need some bottles. There we go, that'll do. And a campfire. Okay. have a look. I think it's as simple as putting the campfire there and then one, two, oh you only get one. Okay and I think I need four altogether. Okay cool. I wonder if it has to be up two blocks. I don't know. Well this is how we find out. Okay, two. Just need two more, all right? I'll just wait. Actually, while we're at it, let's see if we can get some honeycomb as well. Forgot about that. Don't be mad, bees. Oh no, maybe you can only get honeycomb or honey, not and. didn't take too long. Uh, one thing I did notice, I had the campfire over here and one of the bees was taking damage so we uh, kind of got to be a little bit careful. So let's just grab the n another honey block, uh, honey bottle from here. 
Nice. And another one from here. I've been planting a few more. I uh, haven't had much luck, except I did get one more down here. So let's try it with the shears and see if we get honeycomb, because then we can make nests, and then we don't have to keep growing trees. So let's give it a go. Nice. Oh, three. I think you need four for a, to make a, a nest. Okay, looks like I've got a lot to learn. Uh, this bee looks like he was taking damage. I don't think they like being near water. Do you, buddy? Lots to learn. Okay, so before we go, we've got our four honey bottles. Let's make a honey block. Where is it? Nice, our first one. And, oh, that's what it looks like. Cool. <laughs> nice. There's so many things I believe you can do with this, so uh, I'll get cracking. And that ought to do it for today's episode, everyone. Thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you next time, where we're going to be working on that awesome new skeleton spawner, and maybe a spider spawner, and yeah, we'll just carry on. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.